All right, so it's coming up to that kind of time again where I have to make another tier list. I might as well have signed a legally binding contract that makes me have to make a tier list every six or so months because that's just what I do on this channel for some reason. But this one's important because this one is a biscuit tier list, which I have taken way too long to make. You know, I've made some food and drink tier lists. I made that fizzy drink tier list, made the chocolate bar tier list. I think I made another food related tier list somewhere in there. I just can't remember it. But the point is I've made a couple of those kind of ones. By the way, I have added some of my own because in most tier lists, I don't add my own selections to them and they end up missing some important ones that I would have wanted in the tier list after I've made it. It's like when I done the fizzy drink tier list and then I found out Iron Brew wasn't in it. Like I'm literally from Scotland. The fact that Iron Brew wasn't in that is really fucking bad. But now I think I've got everything. And also for any American viewers, because I do know there are some Americans out there that watch my content, these are biscuits. They're, none of these are cookies. Well, maybe one, maybe one or two are kind of cookies. They're all biscuits. All right, they're all biscuits. Shut up. All right, so let's just get straight to it. First one is Kimberly biscuits. I think that that's what they're called. And I'm going to be honest here. I did not add this first one and I have no fucking idea what it is. I did try searching them up just to see if it was the image because the image isn't amazing and I still have no idea what they are. In the description it said something about them being primarily in Ireland. So I'm guessing that's why I've never had them. So I'm just not going to rate them because, you know, there's no point making enemies with the Irish. Bourbons. All right. This is a classic. I really like bourbons. I really do. It's either bourbons or it's custard creams. They go hand in hand. For me, I do like both of them. I think they're both good, but personally, I'm more of a bourbon guy. So for bourbons, I'm going to put them, you know, I don't even care. I'm putting the mess. You know what? Screw it. I know it's basic. I know it's a basic pick, but I'm putting the mess. Listen, see if you get a bourbon and you start dipping that shit in milk. It's so good. As soon as I done that for the first time and I realized how good bourbons really are. It's like my third eye opened, you know, I, I, it just enlightened me. Custard creams, I'll put A. I'll put them A. They're still really nice. I just prefer bourbons, personally. Cadbury crunchy melts. I remember seeing these and from the image, you think, oh, Cadbury, you know, that's, that's a good brand. Oh, they look nice, man. They got a slap. No. They're, they're disappointing. And even just the size of them, they're just puny, man. I'll put them C. They, they are really disappointing, but they're not terrible. They could be worse. I just expect them to be better. Cadbury mini animals. You know, growing up in primary school, I would be sitting down at lunch the cafeteria, got my ham sandwich, got my mini cheddar crisps, got my cheese string, except for the one time a seagull swooped down and took it out of my hands. And nine times out of 10, I would have Cadbury mini animals and I love them. But that being said, they aren't anything special. You know, they're just your normal kind of chocolate biscuit kind of thing, I guess. They're not, they're not too crazy. They're more biscuit than chocolate. But I'm not gonna lie, they are nice. I'll put them B, but nostalgia does play a bit of a role there, I'm not gonna lie. Hadbury Fingers, these are classics, man. These need to go A tier, they, they kind of have to. I know they're also a pretty basic pick, and I wouldn't say they're better than Custard Creams, but they are nice, you can't really go wrong with them. Now we're on to Hobnobs, this is where we get to serious business right here. Hobnobs with the milk chocolate on top, easy A tier. I am really tempted to put these in S tier, but I'm just gonna put them A. I prefer them over custard creams. They slap. I love milk chocolate hobnobs. The best thing about hobnob as well is just the name. Like, come on. Whoever came up with the name hobnob, I would wish only good things for that person because it's just such a good name, man. Like, how can you go wrong with a hobnob? It just, it rolls off the tongue, you know? But honestly, those are so nice. I really like them. I'm not even fully sure what this is, but I, it's like one of those ones where I'm not really sure on the brand and everything, but I know what it is. Like, I know I've had this. Like, I honestly could not tell you what brand this is at all but i mean it's all right from what i remember i'll put b is in fact i'm kind of tempted to put c because i don't remember it being anything special in fact fuck it i'm gonna put c and this other one i guess is just the same bit of dark chocolate i'm not a big fan of dark chocolate so i'm just gonna put a tiered below and talking about dark chocolate we have dark chocolate digestives those i'll put c because even though i'm not a big fan of dark chocolate it is digestives it's not like they have a ton of chocolate on them you know it's it, it can't be that bad that it ruins a digestive.
rest of biscuit. It needs to be the worst. Like, you might as well be layering actual shit on top for it to be that bad to ruin a digestive biscuit. So, you know, I'll, I'll put C for that. Milk chocolate digestive is, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to put S tier. That is just how you make a biscuit right there. That is how you make one. Uh, just a milk chocolate McVitie's digestive. That is just, it's the makings of a good biscuit. The normal digestives are also really nice, but they're obviously a lot more basic because they don't have any chocolate on them or anything. I mean, they still go good with, you know, some hot drink or something, you know, just dip in like hot chocolate or something, I guess. But it's a lot more bland, so I'll put it in B. Okay, we got these. I think they're fig, fig rolls. I'm not gonna lie, these are actually quite nice. You wouldn't think they're nice going off the look of them and everything, but I swear they're actually pretty decent. I'll put them in the top of B tier. Boxes, is it crunch creams? I think they're called. These are really nice. I really like these. In fact, I think I might just put these S tier. Those are really, really nice. Definitely my favorite biscuit that I've had from that company, Foxes. And honestly, I might actually just put it at the top of S tier. They just taste really nice by themselves. They go with pretty much anything you like dip them in. I don't get too sickly of these as well. Like I could eat a full packet of these easy. Not like I ever have. Yeah, I've never done that. McVitie's ginger nuts. Um, I do like myself some good nuts. Um, I don't know, man. To be honest, I don't remember actually having these. So I don't think that's a good sign. But they can't be bad. You know, I'm not going to rate them because I'm not sure I've actually had them. Is it one of those where I feel like if I did have them, they would be really nice. And I just can't remember. Maybe it's just been that long. And I don't want to rate them too low. Because if I do end up having them and they're really fucking nice, I'm not going to be happy. All right, we got the standard hobnobs. Also really nice. Don't like them as much as the milk chocolate ones. But I'll put them top of B tier. Boxes, jam and cream. So this is basically just like a jammy dodger with like a tiny bit of cream in it. Haven't had this in a long time. I remember it being good, but nothing too crazy. So I'll just put it in B tier. But jammy dodgers. How can this not go in at least A tier? Now, if I had to pick from a jammy dodger or a custard cream, I'm taking a jammy dodger. Not too sure about the hobnob debate. You know, I, I do like myself a milk chocolate hobnob. But they're nice, man. You can't go wrong with a Jammy Dodger. Come on. Anyone out there, if you hate biscuits, nine times out of ten, you're still going to like a Jammy Dodger. Like, they're just that good. All right, we got ourselves some Biscoff. I fucking adore Biscoff biscuits. Easy S tier for me. I would even put this above Bourbons. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a massive fan of these. Biscoff, I know is a bit of a controversial flavor of biscuit or type of biscuit, I guess. But personally, I really like it. I remember the first time I had a Biscoff biscuit. I think it was this particular one that I had. And man, from then on, you know, I just, I fell in love with it. I'm not gonna lie. It was nice. M&M's biscuit. This is a wild one. Who the hell came up with this shit, man. This looks like something someone would come up with in like a Kickstarter. But there's a biscuit out there that is even better than that. They, I swear to God, the M&M company stole this idea from another fucking biscuit. And it was a biscuit called Groovy. Groovy biscuits. It was like one of those knockoff brand kind of things. But this is one that actually tasted nice. A rare gem here. I don't know if they're still on the market. I don't know if they've just went out of business because I swear I've not seen them for years. But I'm just going to rate these like I'm rating that because it's pretty much the same thing but with M&Ms instead. So I'll put them low A. Maryland cookies. You know, the custard cream enjoyers out there are going to be raging at this tier list because I'm putting so many things above it here because I just, I can't imagine myself having the option of Maryland land cookies and custard creams and picking custard creams. I just can't. It's not going to happen. There's no world where that happens. So it needs to go above it. It just does. M Mikado? I think I've had this once and it was really forgettable. I'm going to put these D. I, I'll put them above the dark chocolate abomination that's down there, but I don't remember these being good. I'll put these to high A or Nah, to be fair. Yeah, it needs to go S, man. Okay, I'm going to change the order of this a bit. I'm going to put it in S. I'm going to put it above Orbans. Orbans are going down a, a tad. Digestives are going above them now. And I'm going to keep that the order right now. I might switch it around still, but that's the order. I think these are Fox's party rings, I think they're called, or something like that. These are so bad. I'm not going to lie. This might have to go in last resort. Fuck it, I'll put them in last resort. These suck, man. When you start seeing these, 
parties, going about a party or a family gathering, there's one of two things that have happened. One, either someone's cheaped out on the snacks, or two, they saw a party in the name and just picked it up for that alone. Because these are not good. These are okay. These are okay, man. They're not anything crazy. I haven't had them in a long time. I'll put them low C. McVitie's Rich Tea Biscuits. What is the actual difference between this and the normal? I actually don't even know. And for that, you know, I'm not even going to rate these. I don't even know the difference. Shortbread. Come on now. Shortbread is so high in this it has to be they're going high a i don't think i'm gonna put the mess but they're they're definitely high a you know i'm gonna put them in the top of a and i'm actually gonna change bourbons because i feel like the the ratings are getting a bit too high here you know there's some hard hitters getting added to this tier list and it gets to a point where bourbons just you know they shouldn't be up here they're nice but you know they shouldn't be up here with the the greats let's just put bourbons down below shortbread i think that's looking a bit better now okay tonics tea cakes i love these they have like the marshmallow cream kind of thing at the top and this short wee bit biscuit at the bottom oh these are so nice man so nice these are gonna have to go in a as well you know, i'll put them there the m m biscuits now that i'm thinking about it should probably go in high B instead of, you know, A. Might even just put hobnobs above it because there's nothing too crazy. I'm I'm really having to, like, edit this list as I'm going. Like, I'm changing this shit up so much. There's some important shit right here. You know, I'm really analyzing this. You got the, the swirls. There's something swirls. I, I actually can't remember, but these are really nice as well. These are a lot of hard hitters here. These are high A. Do I prefer these over Jammy Dodgers? That was the question. I think I do. Wagon wheels. Come on now. Fucking wagon wheels. I mean, these are kind of like these tea cakes. To be honest, they're better. I prefer these. And plus, this one has jam in the middle as well, which just makes it even more just brooding. So I'm going to have to put this. Prob oh, you know what? It's going S. I don't even care. It's going S. I'll put it there. And I'm... Oh, yeah, it's going there. It's going there. And the normal wagon wheel goes slightly lower. But you know what? I'm also going to put an S. It deserves it. It deserves to be an S as well. Fuck it. White chocolate, Cadbury fingers. I I'll just put next to it, man. Because I swear I've had these, but they're... I mean, they're they're pretty much the same thing. Like, come on. White chocolate's nice, I guess. It's a lot more sickly. That's the only thing. But I do think white chocolate a lot of the time is nicer than milk chocolate. It's just if you have too much, you're fucked. These are shit. These are fucking bad. I remember having these ages ago. These go in last resort. I'm not gonna lie. These suck. Might be a controversial opinion. I don't know. Belvita breakfast bars. <laughs> I don't know why this is in here. I did not add this, by the way. This is just random. But these are good. I do like these. I put them there i'll put them there they are actually quite nice all right so malted milk in my opinion is better than the nice biscuit but it is really basic still i'll put it there kind of low b and the nice one will just go low b they're both they're okay golden oreos these are so fucking good i'm putting them up here man i don't even care i i prefer them over the normal oreos personally i really like them they slap I know there's not a major difference between the two, but hey, I don't care, man. I like them. Double stuffed Oreos. They're fucking good, man. They're also up here. They're also good. They're, I'd say they're slightly better as well, but I do prefer golden Oreos still. And these ones, I'm not gonna lie, these ones are a bit disappointing. I remember having these while I was on holiday to Tenerife. And I mean, they're still good. They're nice, but it's just another one of those where you expect better. You know, you have high expectations. I'll just put them low air. Oh, we got snowballs. All right, these are going to be another controversial one. I feel like a lot of people hate these. I mean, a lot of people just aren't a big fan of coconut flavored stuff in general, which is fair because a lot of them can be quite bad. But this is one that I do actually like. So I like the coconut flavor when it's done right. You know, when it's too strong, I just I'm not a fan of it. Like with bounties, for example, I really don't like bounties. I feel like it's too strong of a coconut flavor. It's like it's trying a little too hard, you know, but with snowballs, it's not as bad you know it's actually like it's a bit of a mix between that chocolate and coconut flavor which i prefer but saying that it's nothing too crazy i'll put it there I'll put, i think that's a good spot for it rocky i love these man these are like another biscuit that would be in like my pack lunch and shit back in school i remember it had like a whole different logo and everything on it these are honestly quite nice i mean the standard ones aren't anything crazy i'd probably put them like here but the caramel ones those are 
are actually quite nice. I put them at high B, I would say. I think there. McVitie's Club. These are quite overrated. I'm not the biggest fan of these. Yet another biscuit I would get in my pack lunch a lot. But these ones, you know, I wasn't exactly the massive fan of these ones. Now, let me just mention, I am not the biggest fan of mint flavoured stuff. For me, it's just not something, it's, it's not the kind of flavour I normally like that much. But I also think it's something that's changed over time because I swear that's a flavour I used to love and I just don't really like anymore for some reason. So I'm so I'm putting these low C. I'm putting them there. The orange one isn't crazy either. I'll put slightly above. I'll put top of C. McVitie's digestive fins. These are nice. I remember having these a long time ago and I actually think I preferred them over the normal ones. I don't know why. I just really like them. So, you know, I'll just put them in the same kind of tier. I'll put slightly above because I'm pretty sure I did prefer them. Oh, we got the classic caramel bar. These are pretty solid. These might just go with the top of B tier. Yeah, fuck it. I'll put them in the top B tier. Breakaways. Uh, oh, they're not even that good though compared to these. Yeah, I'm not even going to say they're mediocre. They're just kind of shit. <laughs> They're just, they're pretty, they're just bland as fuck, man. They're going low C. Penguin. I remember seeing, like, so many rumors and, you know, like, we theories that, oh, a penguin bar is just a bourbon bit of chocolate around it. Don't know if that's actually true or not. I have no clue. But to be honest, I don't really care. It's nice. But there's one issue. The jokes they put on the packaging, it puts it down a tear for me. They're terrible. They're the worst jokes I've ever heard in my life. Some of the worst ones I've ever heard in my entire existence on this earth have came from a penguin bar and because of that despicable trash that they've put on that fucking packaging nah actually i, I won't i won't take it too far it goes down Tiny bit. These are pretty mid. I'll just put them there. Uh, you know, they're just okay. Gold bars. These have to be the most overrated bar I've ever seen in my life. The amount of people that love this bar, it's just okay. And even then, I don't think they actually taste nice. Anytime I've had them, I, I already feel sick of them after one bite. I'm going to put these middle of C tier. That's being generous. Now this abomination. The name for this alone is just grim. Whoever is choosing to have this as a biscuit is an actual psycho. Out of all these options, you know, you're looking through all this. If you decide to pick this out of your free will, you actually need some help. Like, you really do, because this shit is bottom of the barrel. It's going in the bin. If I turn up to a party with friends, just anywhere, and I start seeing this being, you know, put about, like, I'm leaving. I'm gone. I'm not staying around, man. I'm like, come on. This is serial killer activities to be having this. This last one is just one I've added. It's kind of like a special mention. I know it's, you know, it says on it, it's like a snack bar. It's not really a biscuit kind of thing, but I don't care. I'm putting this fairly high A. It's really nice. See, for like a breakfast bar, this shit slaps. And that's it. That is the list done. It has been completed. I might rearrange a couple of these though. I think, you know, Biscoff could maybe go down a bit. I'll put Biscoff next to Digestives. I think that makes more sense. I think Penguin Bars might need to go down a bit. Some of the jokes are coming back to my mind. It's going to have to go to the bottom now, you know. I, I just remembered one of the jokes. The rest though, I think are fine. I think that's actually a good list. Tell me what you guys think and give me any ideas for another tier list if you have any. I mean, this one had to be made. Don't know why I didn't make it before, but I've made it now. There might be some others that I'm just not thinking of as well. And I hope I didn't miss any. If I missed a major fucking biscuit that's really important, that a lot of people have as a must-have biscuit, I'm actually going to be raging. With that being said, I'm going to need to finish this because I'm babbling on now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Give me ideas for other lists. Tell me what your list is. And that's about it. And hopefully I'll see you in another one.